Hi, my name is Jim Birdie. I'm a machine safety specialist with McNaughton McKay Electric Company. Today I'm going to present a brief overview of the NEC Class II power requirement with focus on machine safety components. DC powered control and sensing devices are an integral part of a typical industrial control circuit. Many of these devices require a Class II source. So how do you know when a Class II power source is required? The short answer is any time it is specified on the device label. Here is an example of a light curtain label. Notice that the power for this device is specified to be Class II. This label was taken off of an Allen Bradley GuardLink safety relay. Again, the power supply is specified to be a Class II source. Article 725 of the NEC defines the requirements for a Class II power source. One criterion is a maximum load side power potential of 100 volt amps. It must be noted that the 100 volt amp maximum power potential cannot be achieved through branch circuit fusing. Furthermore, not all power supplies rated 100 volt amps or less are considered Class II. UL has very specific tests to certify a Class II power source. Ellen Bradley provides two solutions that meet the Class II requirement. Number one, power supplies that are certified NEC Class II. And number two, the 1692 Electronic Circuit Protection Module. Here is a list of DC power supplies currently available from Ellen Bradley that are Class II certified. In many applications, the combination of a larger standard power supply and a 1692 ECP is a more cost-effective solution. If you'd like to take a deeper dive and get more information on the Class II requirement, visit the Ellen Bradley website at ab.com and click on the Literature Library. In the search bar, type NEC Class II in quotation marks. Here you can view and download white papers, installation instructions, application techniques, technical data, and reference manuals. For additional questions or more videos like this, please call us or visit our website.